Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready to make some candles. So a few months back, I made a video where I reviewed a bunch of brand new, at the time, brand new fragrance oils from Scent Memory Fragrance Company. They have been my fragrance oil supplier exclusively um, for about two years now. And Scent Memory's owner, founder, Kristen, is an angel on earth <laughs> and she not only created a referral code for me so that i could share a discount for any of you who want to try out the oils but she also went ahead and sent me a few of her brand new oils just as a way of saying thank you she is the sweetest human being so <laughs> i thought today in this video i would test out the oils with you um i have them right here there are three of them i will be totally transparent i received these a few months ago and honestly up until now just have not had the time to sit down and actually put the oil into wax and so i have smelled all of these already out of bottle but it has been a few months and so we're gonna do that again i am going to be making 10 ounce candles with these jars i used these for my winter collection last year and so i have a few left over let's just give a quick out of bottle review right now Sorry about the sunlight, but I wanted to pop in and tell you guys about a giveaway that I'm hosting. We are so close to a thousand subscribers and just as a way of thanking you guys for being here and watching me and taking time out of your day to spend with me, I just want to give you the biggest thank you. And I know I say it in every video and I truly mean it, but I want to show it to you too. So. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $100 gift card to my candle company, Alchemist Candle Studio. If you've been here for a while, you've probably seen I do a lot of candle type videos. It's a huge passion of mine, along with fashion, thrifting, things of that nature. This is open to both old and new subscribers. All you have to do is one, subscribe to me here on YouTube, obviously, but also go ahead and follow me and my candle company on Instagram. After that, I have a form linked below in the description that you'll fill out just so I have a way of contacting you. And once we pass a thousand subscribers, I will go ahead and pick a winner. So it's really simple. Again, it's just a way of me showing my gratitude and thankfulness for you guys that have been here or who are joining now. <laughs> Let's get back to the video, but make sure you enter this giveaway. I want to give you candles. Okay, as a disclaimer here before I do this, out of bottle first impressions are not super reliable. Let's turn the air off. <laughs> out of bottle reviews aren't the most reliable. Um, scent notes can really change and develop and bloom once they are, once the oil is put into wax. And so please take this first initial impression out of bottle with a grain of salt, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so I believe this was Scent Memories April release, um, and there were three oils. There is bourbon and charred wood, vanilla absolute, and citrus bitters. We're gonna sniff bourbon and charred wood first. I like this one so much out of bottle. It You definitely get that alcohol note with the bourbon, but also a woodsy smoky note too. So I'm really excited to see how this develops in wax. Next up is citrus bitters. Mm. Yes, very citrusy. It has that little zing to it at the end that you would get from an alcohol bitters note. I normally probably wouldn't put this alone in wax and just leave it by itself. This is something I typically mix with another fragrance, but for the purposes of this video and to see just how it does, because I'm very curious, I am going to be putting this into its own candle. So this will be an interesting one. And finally, we have Vanilla Absolute. I think this is going to be my favorite of the three. I'm on a vanilla kick right now. Ah. <sighs> That's so good. It's, I will say this one out of bottle is a bit lighter than the others and 
It does almost have a bit of that like vanilla extract type smell. So this is one that I will be very curious to see how it unfolds once we put it in wax. So let's go do that. got to get a wireless microphone. So sorry about this. This is not very ergonomic here. I wanted to talk a little bit while I'm licking these jars. So for any glass candles I do, specifically this size, I do CD10 wicks. CD stands for cotton something or another. I don't know what the D stands for, but <laughs> These are cotton wicks and I have found that they perform best with the soy wax I use. I'm just going to grab three of those. Um, as always, I will have my supplies linked in the description for you. Candle supplies aren't, you know, they're not necessarily the most expensive things in the world, but there's just a lot of supplies that you need if you're getting started out. And I've been curious if you guys would like like can how how I make my candles type of videos. Like, are you entrepreneurs wanting to start your own candle company? Cause like I can make those kind of videos, especially for me where I primarily create and work with concrete candles. I know that can be a little bit tricky to find information on just based on when I was starting out and researching and I had to do a lot of my own testing because I couldn't find answers. So if those videos are some that you'd be interested in, let me know and I can gladly make them for you. Or if you just like the aesthetics too and want to hang out with me while I make candles, that is completely fine as well. Less work for me. <laughs> Specifically with glass, something I have struggled with and I think everyone who creates glass candles struggles with is air pockets on the side, sinkholes, I forget what they're technically called. But a way I've found to combat that is to either put your candles on like a drying rack to dry so that they're not on this really cold countertop and there's not that temperature inconsistency with like the hot wax and the really cold counter. That can lead to those pockets. Or you can put like a dish cloth underneath and put your candles that you're pouring on top of it. So again, the, there's less of that te temperature discrepancy there. I don't yet have like a digi boiler or anything like that for melting my wax. I have to do it all manually with a double boiler method. And so between batches of candles, I have to go in, clean my pouring pitcher, um, all of that. So it just takes a bit more time is what I'm getting at but I like to save myself as much time as possible and like prep everything all at the beginning. Right now, I'm just placing my wicks. That's what I'm doing off camera here. While our first batch of wax is melting, I wanted to mention a few things specifically about scent memory oils. Um, no, I am not sponsored. I wish I was. <laughs> this is a little bit of a different review because I did not pay for these oils, but regardless, I'm going to always give you my honest opinion. And I truly mean it when I say there has never been a single fragrance oil that I have purchased from this company that I haven't loved. I just love this company <laughs> so much. And it reminds me a lot of my own company in the sense that I trust that 
this business owner will not put out garbage. Like I know she is in it because she enjoys the experience of creating fragrance oils, much like I enjoy the experience of creating candles, specifically concrete candles and home decor. And it's just so nice when you can find a company like that because with a lot of these big box or mainstream wholesale fragrance oil companies, I'm thinking like Candle Science, The Flaming Candle, so on and so forth. Yeah, their products are decent, but they're just so, there's no love in them. There's no creativity or uniqueness. Like it's just mass produced items. And as a small business owner, I want to use small business items as much as I possibly can to run my business. And so if you are looking for fragrance oils that check all those boxes, <laughs> this is the one. As with my first review of their company and all of those oils, I will have my referral code for you in the description box. I believe you get 10% and I get 10% when you use it too. So Definitely check it out if you're at all interested. No pressure, it's just there. <laughs> it's just there for you to save money if this is something you're wanting to do anyway. Um, but that's not why I started talking to you. I wanted to mention that these oils I have found take quite a while to, I don't know if the term is macerate or come to life in wax. I like to leave mine for no less than two weeks before I ship off candles or honestly, usually before I burn them for myself. We aren't gonna be able to do that with this video because I am making it too late. That's just honestly poor planning on my part. So I'm sorry about that. I'd be happy to update you guys after a few weeks have passed. I can pin a comment on this video if that would be helpful. So just something to note there, these fragrance oils do take a little bit more time to develop. While we wait for that batch to cool down to the point where we can pour it, I am going to work on creating the labels for these three testers. Okay guys, that is going to do it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun hanging out while I made candles. Usually, as you know, these sort of videos are more silent. I like to work in peace and I'll just overlay some peaceful music, but this was a nice change too, especially since I was using brand new oils and trying them out for the first time. So let me know if you like these review sort of make candles with me type of videos. I'd be happy to do more of these. Again, I'm so sorry that we didn't have time in this video to do a burn test, but I would be happy to keep you guys updated in the coming weeks. So if that's something you're interested in, if you want to know what the burns turn into after a few weeks of curing here, let me know and I can leave it in the comments below this video. With all of that said, again, I will have scent memories information in the description box. You can use my referral link and get 10% off if you're interested in trying out any of the oils. I truly can't recommend this company enough. It has been such a blessing to me and my business and it's just so fun. If you are a fragrance aficionado like myself, this is the place to be. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out guys and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.